Hey, what's up, Facebook? How y'all doing? Y'all don't pay no attention too much to that Atlanta Falcons. I'm just over here with my little, <laughs> my brother house and my little nephew now. And that's how I roll over here. But I'm going to say this and I'm going to be very, very brief. As you look at the um, the previous videos that I recorded earlier, where we had to point out the sad ass situation of a bunch of so-called black men who want us to believe that they are real black leaders. But it's been proven that they really don't give a damn about black people because their whole modus is to try to get themselves um, in a better position for personal gain through the same fuckery that they would try to put off on white people. Again, we're going to say this, and I'm going to just be real. Any one of you Negroes that come on Facebook, that's my friends, and I see you get on Facebook talking about Councilwoman LeVette Fuller, every time you put a video up, I'm going to put one video up too. And guess what? The four or five Negroes that's looking at your bullshit-ass video, we're going to have a thousand people looking at my video. Think about it. Man, it's crazy. You Negroes sit up and talk all this black power, black consciousness. We love black women as black queen. Our queens are our heart. But y'all just sit up here and degraded this woman because she didn't do what y'all wanted to do. I'm going to keep it real. Y'all know me. I'm just going to keep it real. Fuck you niggas, man. Straight up. We going to go hard in the paint to all you pastors. That's sitting up here trying to get on Facebook and degrade this woman. Every time you put a video up, I'm going to come up and go hard in the fucking paint against you. Because you are wrong. You are dead wrong. This woman, all she did, Councilwoman LeVette Fuller, all she did was her job, bruh. She did what she was supposed to have do. Because all the people in her district told her they didn't want this. So now, you Negroes who sit around here and talking about our black women are cream, and we don't know allow nobody to disrespect them, but y'all just dis disrespected this woman, and now you Negroes even actually got the audacity to try to recall her? Man, y'all gotta be out your goddamn mind if you think we finna let that go down like that. Because guess what? Even if I didn't um, support Councilwoman LeVette Fuller, I'm rolling with her now because she made the right decision. You Negroes running around here trying to um, basically incorporate a scam because y'all trying to say that the white folks been doing it all this time. Why can't we do it? Well, the average Negro know if the white folks do it and it's wrong, what makes her think that we're going to let you Negroes do it and it's wrong? So go hard in the paint on Facebook every time you put a video. Matter of fact, you might as well unfriend me right now on Facebook because every time y'all come on Facebook with that dumb ass shit, I'm going hard in the paint against you with another video. Man, the four or five people that's listening to you are not indicative of the 180,000 people here in Shreveport who realize that you Negroes are doing nothing but running a scam. So go, go against that black woman if you want to. Watch how hard in the paint I go against you. I'm going to make you shut your Facebook page down because guess what? For every five people that you got to watch in your bullshit ass video, I got 500. And we're not playing with you all. Ain't no way in the world we're going to let y'all disrespect this woman when all she did was call out bullshit that y'all got going on. So now y'all want to degrade her, but at the same time, talk all this black power shit like y'all are just some of the greatest. Come on, man. If y'all were so great and such great black political advocates, why can't y'all win elections around here? Why can't y'all even... Get get six people to like. I mean, to not even like, but look at your videos. You got a, a couple of pastors around here that's full of fuckery, man. And I'm not playing with them. 
I'm finna go hard in the paint on them. It's all about accountability, man. It's all about respect. That woman did her job, and now you Negroes are trying to throw her, throw her under the bus. I'm not finna let it happen. Because if you all say that black women are queens, why are y'all talking to this black woman who only did her job like she's a, a piece of dirt? Y'all got shit twisted, man. And you finna get me coming against you. Guess what? Couple of people that's... I, I, we, but I ain't gonna even go there. I ain't gonna even go there because I got a lot of love for a couple of these people. We actually even, I'm going to just be real, even with my, my, my big uncle, Willie Bradford. Come on, Mr. Bradford, you cannot be with that bullshit, man. You cannot be with that bullshit down in this woman because she didn't do what you wanted her to do. And then you're going to throw racism up in there? And then I got a lot of other people who might have gave me five, six, seven dollars. But when y'all talking about this billion dollars, ain't now one of y'all called me and say, hey, look, Rob, if you can help us, we going to help you help the convicted fellas who can't even get a job around here. We're going to help you employ them on this billion dollars. Ain't now one of y'all called me and said nothing like that. So guess what? We know that that shit y'all was trying to do was a scam from Jump Street. And then y'all want to throw this black woman under the bus because she saw through the scam. And if nothing else, she did what the people of her district asked her to do. Come on, man. Jane Green, Willie Bradford. Why is shit so fucked up still on the Cooper Road and in, um, in Warner Park and Ingleside in y'all districts, man? Come on, man. Get your district to fucking gather before you try to uh, sit up here and come with a scam on somebody else. Man, I'm not playing no games, which I have. Guess what? Y'all can throw me under, try to throw me under the bus, but every time you make a Facebook post, I'm going to make one against you. And I guarantee you, if you got 60 people that looking at your shit, I'm going to have 60 people that's understanding what I'm saying. If you do a video pastor, and you know who I'm talking about, trying to throw this lady under the bus and ain't but four people looking at your video, I'm going to do another video and have 400 people looking at it to prove that you all are really with some fuck shit, straight up. And then on, on top of that, you all have the audacity to try to use the struggle of black people and Jesus to continue with your fuckery. Y'all got shit fucked up, dog. We finna go hard in the paint. Put up another video, pastor. Put up another video. Any one of you black uh, so-called leaders, watch how hard in the paint I go against y'all with that fuck shit y'all got going on.